Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to build out a full CRUD application using AngularJS. We're not going to connect to an HTTP uh, remote web server using the HTTP service that Angular uh, kindly provides us, but uh, instead we're just going to go ahead and build out an AngularJS application. Uh, just implements full CRUD functionality uh, using some mock JSON. Our application is going to implement a user management system and we're going to perform uh, create, uh, read, um, update, and uh, edit and delete functions. So let's go ahead and make a directory called Angular Users. Let's change directory into there. And uh, all I want to do really is create a file called index.html since we're not serving anything up. And I'm going to open this up with Sublime real quick and uh, close that out. And we need to do a few things. So I'm going to you know, uh, scaffold out my HTML with Emmet, so I'm going to say Angular uh, User Management Management System, and uh, let me go ahead and grab Angular. I'm going to use 1.5, the CDN. So let's uh, incorporate that script, give it a source. I also want to use uh, Bootstrap so that we can get some good styling. And so let me grab that link and give it href, and we'll just say uh, type is going to be equal to text and CSS. Okay, cool. So first thing we need to do is tell Angular about this app. So say ng app, set it equal to app, and then I'm going to open up a new script tag and we're going to write some Angular JS code. So I'm going to say let app equal a new Angular dot module, a new module we're going to create. We're going to call it app, and then the second argument is just an empty array of dependencies. From there, I want to create a controller. So we're going to say app dot controller. It's going to be equal to main controller. We're just going to have one controller. And this is going to take in a function where we're going to do all of our logic. Um, so we're not going to use any HTTP, but uh, I'm going to say var vm equals this. So we can use the view model, which is going to act as the glue between our view and um, our controller. So we have a two way binding going on. I'm going to hook up our body to this controller and give it domain. So I'm going to say main controller as vm. And uh, so that'll be in sync with this. And I just want to print this out. Say vm.title is going to be equal to main controller. And uh, let me give it some bootstrap styling. And we'll say text center. And then I also just want to give it an h3. And I'm going to say title right here. And then I'm going to open this up in the browser. So let's open this up. And let's see why we are not getting it. Should be able to tell us right now. Uh, function main controller vm dot title. Oh right, I need to put vm. Sorry. And there we go. We got our main controller loaded. Angular has loaded for us, and we're not getting any errors. Cool. So we're getting that uh, interpolation, that binding. Awesome. Uh, next thing up, guys, is uh, we are going to sort of create some mock users. So we're going to say vm dot users. It's going to be an array, and uh, inside this array, we're going to have some objects. So we're gonna have some user objects that's gonna represent uh, data, you know, perhaps from a remote web server or API or a database. And we're just gonna say name is equal to Theo, age 23, and I'm gonna mock up a few more of these. Let's say uh, James, 25, and uh, say Rick is 26. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and loop through our users. So I'm gonna do a UL and an LI. I'm going to do a ng repeat so we can iterate through our collection and we'll say user in vm.users and then inside of here we're going to say user.name and then do a line break and we're going to do user.age so we can bind to that. Awesome. So we're getting our users. I don't really like that, but uh, let's just do this in line style. We'll say list style type and we'll set that equal to none to get rid of that. Awesome. So we got our users and we got our age. Perhaps we want to do. Uh, name and we want to do an age and awesome sort of name age cool and we can actually look at this instead right here we can say user and we can use the JSON filter to sort of pipe out to make sure we are getting our data cool um, next thing we want to do now that we have our you know sort of um, read operation going on we want to create a function inside of here called VM .add user, and all this is going to do is this is going to do vm.users.push user. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and create that. So we're going to have 
a uh, little input right here. We're going to have two, and uh, this is going to be a type text. We're going to give it ng model of vm.user.name, and then here we're going to have ng model vm.user.age. So this vm.user, this is the same. What's going to happen is Angular is going to create a property here called vm.user. If we don't create it, and it's going to have an age property, and it's going to have a name property so that we can actually access it in our controller. Cool, so um, what we can do now is uh, create this button and wire up a click event, ng click, and we can say vm.add user. Okay, so we're gonna say add user, and let me just give this, let me see, button, I don't think, nah, it's fine the way it is. So here we have an add user, right? So one thing I wanna get rid of actually is this br, that's kind of annoying. So. There we go. So if we let me add some placeholders real quick. So we'll say placeholder is going to be equal to name. And uh, placeholder here is going to be equal to the age. Okay, so name and age. So we're just going to say uh, tray and 24. So we click add user. Let's see why we're not getting into it. User is not defined. Okay, that's correct. It is not defined. So it's actually vm.user. So let's try this again. So we'll say tray and 24. So we click it, add user. We have that. So maybe we want to clean up the UI so it clears out these fields. So we can also do vm.user is equal to that. And that should clear it out. So let's try it again. Tray and 24. There we go. It clears it out. Um, awesome. And I don't think we can. Yeah, I guess you can add the same one twice. Okay, so we're not going to deal with that. But uh, next one up, guys is we want to create a uh, delete in here. So what we can do is create a button that says delete and we're gonna wire up a click event that all it's going to do is it's gonna call vm.delete user and we're gonna pass in the index that um, the ng repeat provides with us, provides to us from this collection. So we're gonna build out this function vm.delete user is a function which takes in an index and all we're gonna do is do vm.users.splice okay we want to splice the index and we want to remove one so let's try this out and actually let's just console.log the index just to prove index is plus index just to prove that we are getting the correct user so let's look at this again and uh, let me go to my console let's run this and so if we delete this we're getting delete rick we're getting index two. If we delete Theo, index zero, and James, index zero. Cool. Uh, similarly, if we hit James now, we should get one and one and zero. Awesome. So we've got our delete functionality going on. We got our view. Uh, let's get an edit going on. So what we want to do when we click edit, we want to have it, you know, populate it with with this data. Say if I have Rick edit, I want this data to be populated with that. So um, let's also create this button and uh, button, and we'll say ng click vm .edit user, and uh, again we're gonna pass it. We're gonna pass it along this user. We actually need this, and we're gonna say edit. So let's create our method right here. Vm .edit user is a function, and what we can do now is uh, this is going to take in a user and we're going to say vm.user is equal to the user okay so check this out so now we have rick here if we click edit we populated their details james theo rick awesome and uh, you'll notice that these bindings are attached okay so that's pretty cool uh, what we want to do now our last thing is create an update or simulate an update so we'll say ng click equals vm.update user update or maybe just save and um, say vm.update user is a function and all we want to do basically is just clear out the UI so it simulates uh, updating the user so say we have Theo I'm going to change my name to you know Theodore and then I just want to save there we go awesome so we've implemented the full crud functionality here and uh, under 100 lines of code using AngularJS I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.